Hi, this is Ryan Knox with a and In this video, I'm um, going to demonstrate some tools within the Image Analysis window, which is new at ArcGIS 10, and feature a couple new layer files available on GeoPoint and on our T layer files directory. Um, the featured layers, uh, which are on the screen, are the NDVI values and NDVI cartographic. Um, NDVI stands for Normalized Difference Vegetation Index and it's a simple indicator about how vigorous um, plant growth is. Um, values range from negative one to one. Uh, one typically, negative one uh, is water while one um, would be tropical rainforest, something that has a lot of vegetation vigor. The reason why we have two layers is that the mosaic data set that this is drawing from um, has an NDVI function, which applies a really nice cartographic look, but it does not contain the values. Um, so that's why there's two. The image analysis window, if you don't have it on your in ArcMap, is available at the Windows drop-down image analysis. Um, you can dock, like all uh, windows in ArcMap, you can dock it wherever you like it. I like it at the bottom here. Okay. Um, one tool I'm going to share, which is important in evaluating this NDVI product, um, is the Flickr. Um, if I turn on the NDVI cartographic, which is just NDVI, and turn on... Um, this NAEP image service from the USDA. Um, notice in my image analysis window I have two layers also checked here. If I just hit the flicker then, it'll flicker between the two layers. And this gives you an opportunity to just evaluate the two raster products. Um, red values are obviously um, values you know, approaching negative one or zero. Um, and then the green values on the screen are those from zero to one generally. You can increase the speed and decrease the speed of the flicker by just typing in higher and lower values. So that's the flicker. Um, another tool that many of you probably are already familiar with is the swipe tool, which is right next to the Flickr uh, button. If you use the swipe tool, again, I have the two layers turned on, It and if I click and hold, it swipes. I'm holding my left mouse button down so that I can evaluate the two imagery, or two raster sources. And you can do this for different um, year um, of photography so you can look at change on screen in an easy way. Uh, another tool which is really helpful in evaluating this NDVI uh, product is it's not really a tool but it's 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 a process that you, in which you can accelerate the image. Um, if you right click on a feature layer or a raster data set and check accelerate um, this will allow you to essentially cache these tiles in this picture on your desktop and really increase the performance so that you can you can pan around your screen and evaluate the information quickly. Now this this imagery is on the O drive, uh, ANR's O drive, so performance can be a problem at times with some of our remote districts and outposts. This has already been pre-accelerated just to demonstrate the speed at which it can happen. I'm also going to use the Q um, on my keyboard and my hand tool to quickly pan around the area that I've already accelerated. So when I stop, it's available. Now I'm going to go down here and just go to an area that hasn't been accelerated just to demonstrate 
So you can see how it's kind of fuzzy here in the bottom left hand corner. It may take a second to render on your screen, but it is much faster once it does that. And that's the end of the video, just a short demo of a couple tools um, available in the image analysis window. There are many more tools. Um, please explore those on your own. If you have questions, contact ANRGIS. Thanks.